So this is a question given a slightly more complicated example of a binomial expansion exam question. So what it's asking us to do is to take 1 plus 4x to the power of 7 and expand it, giving the first four terms in ascending powers of x. That means starting with the lowest power of x. So the first thing we need to do is find the lowest power of x. Well, the lowest power of x is 4x to the power of 0. And as we saw in the previous video, I prefer to do this in columns. So then we've got 4x to the power of 1, 4x squared, and 4x cubed. So that's the lowest power of x, which gives rise to the highest power of the other term, 1. So we've got 1 to the 7, 1 to the 6, 1 to the 5, and 1 to the 4. And a quick check we could perform here to see that we're doing it right is both of these must add up to the power of the bracket. So 7 add 0, yep, 7, 6 add 1, 7, yep, we're doing it all right. Then we've got 7c0, 7c1, 7c2, 7c3. So this always matches the power of the bracket as we saw in the previous video, and this will match the power of x. Truth be told, if you accidentally make it match the power of 1 instead, you still get the same answer. So even if you do it the other way, it's fine. Right, so doing a bit more working on this now. 4x to the power of 0 is 1. 4x to the power of 1 is 4x. 4x squared, 4x times 4x, is 16x squared. A common mistake there is to forget to square the 4. And 4x cubed, 4x times 4x times 4x, is 64x cubed. All of these terms equal to 1. And then 7c0, let's pop that in the calculator. 7c0 is 1. And anything, c0 is 1. So that first one, you can always just write as 1. 7c1 is 7. 7c2 is 21. And 7c3 is 35. Finally, we need to multiply the entries in each, co in each column together. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, plus 4 times 1 times 7 is 28x, plus 16 times 21 is equal to 336 x squared, and finally 64 times 35 is 2240. x cubed, and that's that first part done. The next part, part 2, slightly more difficult. It tells us that in the expansion of 3 plus ax, 1 plus 4x to the power of 7, now what we've got to notice here is 1 plus 4x to the power of 7 is what we expanded in the first part. So we've already done some of the work on this. And that's quite often the case in these multi-part questions. We do some of the work in the previous part. So instead of writing 1 plus 4x to the power of 7, I'm going to use my expansion now. 1 plus 28x plus 336x squared plus 2240x cubed. And it says the coefficient of x squared is 1001. Well, the coefficient of x squared here, we get an x squared by times in 3 by 336. 3 times 336 is 1008. Then there's another way we can make an x squared. 28x times ax gives us 28a x squared, so the coefficient of that is 28a. And we're told that that's equal to, in the question, 1001. So now we can rearrange this. Taking the 1008 the other side, we get 28a equals minus 7. So 
a equals minus 7 over 28 which is equal to minus 1 quarter therefore a equals minus a quarter and we're done and that's a very very common type of exam question